All right, I'm going to try and draw as best as I can. Okay, if you'd like to follow along in the uh, textbook, it might be a little easier for you. Okay, so make sure you just have this kind of copied down to the best of your artistic abilities. Obviously, mine are not uh, that great either. All right, so it asks you in part A, it says, what do you notice about the pattern? Okay, so as we're kind of working through this, okay, you can kind of recognize, okay, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tiles here in figure one. Okay, if I was just gonna count up how many tiles in figure two, I could just count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, <laughs> can copy it over from the screen. Uh, and then figure three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, okay, in figure three. So just kind of trying to notice the things we're doing from figure one to figure two. Okay, I've added this tile right here. And then I've added two more on the left. Okay, and then as I'm going from figure two to figure three, I add another one on the left hand side and two more on the right. So as I'm going from figure one to figure two to figure three, I'm adding three tiles each time. Okay, so then the next part, it asks you to figure out what does figures zero and figure four look like. Okay, figure four is a little easier, okay, because we're just going to keep this pattern. We're essentially copying over figure three and then adding those two tiles on the right and that one tile on the left. So figure four, one, two, three. Should have four tiles on the left-hand side. One, two, three, four in the middle there. That's not changing. 
and then one, two, three, four, five, six, and then two more, so I should have eight tiles on the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and hopefully should be a total of 16 tiles. Again, where I've added one on the left column, two on the right column, adding three each time. Okay, figure zero, obviously a similar process, but now we're just kind of working backwards. Okay, so if I have figure one here, and I know that from figure zero to figure one, I added one on the left-hand side, and I added two on the right-hand side, really I'm just gonna take those away now. So figure four, or sorry, figure one should just have, geez, figure zero should just have those four tiles right there in the middle. Because as I'm going from figure zero to figure one, I'm adding one tile to the left and two to the right hand column. Okay, so as I'm going from figure one to figure zero, I'm actually subtracting three. Another second to copy that down. Okay, if we wanted to write this as a table, pretty straightforward. Get a ruler. I can never draw a straight line. Save my life. Oh my gosh, it's getting worse. All right. Okay, so if we want to put this in a table, pretty straightforward. We're going to have our X value represent the figure number. We're going to let our Y value represent the number of tiles. So we have figures 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Obviously, we could go on as far as we wanted to. Okay, and then we're just going to copy down how many tiles we have in each one. So figure 0 has 4, figure 1 has 7, figure 2 has 10. 3 is 13, 4 is 16, and we can keep going on and on.
Okay, converting that into a graph, pretty straightforward. We're just plotting those points. Okay, your x-axis, your figure, your y-axis, your tiles. We have 0, 4, 1, 7, 2, 10, so on and so forth. I'm just plotting the points as opposed to connecting the dots, okay, because it's really not like a half of a figure. That doesn't make much sense. Also, we don't really have half of a tile or a third of a tile or anything like that. Okay. But here is kind of the, the winner here. This is going to be the most helpful for a lot of things we're going to do is being able to take it from a uh, tile pattern into an equation. Okay, and since we were adding the same amount each time, okay, we want to use the linear function, which is y equals mx plus b. Where Y is going to be a number of tiles, M is going to be the amount of growth, uh, growth of tiles between each figure. X would just be our figure number, and then B is our starting value. Okay, so we're always going to leave x and y as x and y. Okay. So for m, going back, how many are we growing by each time? We're growing by 3. So we write y equals 3x. And then how many are in figure 0? We stated that there was 4. So our equation would be y equals 3x plus 4.
Okay, so why is this the most helpful? Well, because you'll usually get a question that looks like this. How many tiles are in figure 100? Okay, so if we go back to where we started with this, okay, if you drew out all the way to figure 100, that would take you an insane amount of time. That would be terrible, right? Draw figure four where you add a tile, then figure five, six, seven, so on and so forth. That's quite ridiculous. Same thing with the table. If I wanted to keep going, figure five is going to have 19. Figure six is going to have 22. Figure seven is going to have 25. Okay, slightly faster than sketching the uh, tile figures. Okay, but still going to take a lot more time than I would want it to. Pretty much the same thing with the graph, where I'm just counting up three each time, up three over one, up three over one. Okay, that's going to take. A long time and I don't have enough graph paper in the world okay to figure that out okay but if we have the equation it makes it a lot easier okay like we said here we're gonna plug in our figure number for X so all we're really doing is plugging in 100 for X here getting 300 plus 4 Okay, meaning, like I said, Y is the total number of tiles. So now I know in figure 100, there should be 304 total tiles. Much faster than those first three methods. All right, so I'm gonna have you try and do the same thing basically on your own here with 2-2. Towels they give you in 2-2. So figure one looks like this. Okay, so what I want you to do is draw figure zero and figure four. Make a table. Draw a graph. Write an equation. And then find out how many tiles in figure, let's say figure 200 this time. All right, so take, I'll give you about five, 10 minutes or so. Okay, do those five things and we will reconvene.
and my microphone wasn't on. So I was talking to myself for the last few minutes. Uh, <laughs> figure four, a little tedious and obviously a little uh, rough sketch. Okay, but we're adding two each time. As we work backwards though, more importantly, okay, we cut off those two. Okay, so figure zero should just be those three. As we make a table, where we have X and Y, X would be the figure number, Y would be the number of tiles. So we should have three in figure zero, one, two, three, four, five in figure one. Okay, and then seven, nine, 11, because we are adding two each time. Okay, making a rough, gr rough sketch of a graph as well. Zero, we should be at one, two, three. One should be at five, two, seven, three, nine, so on and so forth. Okay, but then writing the equation. Okay, y equals mx plus b, where again, m is how many we are growing by each time. Okay, which we said was two. And then our B value here at the end should be how many we start with, which in this case is three. Okay, which makes finding how many tiles are in figure 200 much easier. We're plugging in 200 for X. So we get Y equals 400 plus three. and we should get 403 tiles in figure 200.